Everyone knows that Rhode Island is a blue state, but just how deeply blue is our ocean state when it comes to elections? Are Rhode Islanders as truly progressive left voters as we're led to a believe? We're going to explore this question about are we really do we are we really as blue as our votes seem to make us? But we're also going to expose Rhode Island's involvement in a national scheme that seems as if it's designed to ensure that Democrats win elections. Rhode Island's involved, a senior official. Free and fair elections are essential to any legitimate democracy. So here's the questions, you know, you might might want to come right to head, right, right to the top of the mind. Did a weak governor really defeat a politically attractive candidate who spent $5 million by almost 20 points? Did that really happen? Did an equally weak congressional candidate beat an equally attractive and popular former Cranston mayor in a surprise come from behind victory? Did that really happen the way it, the results told us? And do voters in Rhode Island really support one political party over another in the General Assembly, so much so that that results in an 85% to 15% supermajority? Is that really how the, the electorate in Rhode Island feels? The answer is yes, but not really. And perhaps, perhaps it looks like probably not fairly. Now, recent public records have revealed actual email chains. These revelations should alarm every honest voter, as we'll lay out for you in just a few moments, regardless of your party affiliation. If you're an honest voter, you want free and fair elections. They all but prove that high-ranking election officials in our own Secretary of State's office have been illicitly conspiring with third-party groups to give Democrat candidates a massive and unfair advantage in registering and turning out voters. Now, to be clear, this is no election denier stuff here. There's no talk about ballot fraud here. We're not even talking about the Democrat Party's superior and what I would call fair efforts to encourage their supporters to vote early, to vote by mail, or to have their ballots harvested by political op operatives. It's not illegal in this state. None of this is illegal and none of this is unfair. The truth is that with regard to these specific get out the vote activities, Democrats have outplanned and frankly outworked the Republican, the Republican counterparts in our state. But there is something else going on. Only recently discovered that if true would clearly indicate that elections in Rhode Island and in dozens of other states over the past eight years or so are being conducted on a very, very uneven playing field. Rhode Island, it seems, is part of a national scheme put in place since 2015, secretly in implemented until just recently discovered, whereby the private state-collected data of registered and unregistered voters is being improperly shared with third-party organizations that are loyal to Democrats. This vital data is not available to Republican-leaning political organizations. Such activity, clearly, clearly, it's complex, yes, but it definitely looks like an illicit conspiracy to rig, ele to rig elections. It's certainly unfair, and it might even be criminal. 